Welcome to today's podcast, where we explore the vibrant intersections of tourism and peace. Let's dive into a fascinating insight shared by Jamaica's Minister of Tourism, Han. Edmund D.R. Bartlett, during his recent visit to Georgia for World Tourism Day. According to D.R. Bartlett, peace is not merely the absence of conflict but the presence of connections. This profound statement underscores the transformative power of travel. Last year alone, one. Four billion tourists journeyed across the globe, forging one. Four billion connections. These interactions fostered better human understanding and contributed significantly to global peace. Tourism, as DR. Bartlett highlighted, is a bridge that unites diverse cultures and communities. Every traveler who steps out of their comfort zone to explore new destinations contributes to a tapestry of shared experiences and mutual respect. These connections transcend borders and languages, knitting together a more harmonious world. The notion that travel can be a catalyst for peace is both inspiring and timely. In a world often fraught with division and misunderstanding, the simple act of visiting a new place and engaging with its people can break down barriers and build lasting bonds. As we reflect on the impact of these one, for billion connections, it becomes clear that tourism is much more than leisure or business. It is a powerful force for good, capable of fostering empathy, cooperation, and ultimately, peace. Here is the exact speech by the Honorable Minister of Tourism for Jamaica, Dr. Edmund Bartlett in Tiblitz, Georgia for World Tourism Day 2024 Distinguished Delegates Esteemed colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, asterisk asterisk it is an honor to address you today on the occasion of World Tourism Day here in the beautiful country of Georgia as we gather under the theme asterisk a building tourism resilience for world peace. Asterisk we are reminded of the profound role that tourism plays not just in economies, but in the very fabric of global harmony. Tourism is more than an industry. It is a bridge between cultures, a catalyst for understanding, and a beacon of hope in a world that often feels fragmented. It is through the simple act of visiting another land, tasting its food, listening to its music, and walking its streets that we begin to see beyond borders and embrace the rich tapestry of human diversity. Bob Marley once sang, asterisk, one love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. Asterisk, these words resonate deeply with our mission today. Tourism embodies this spirit of unity. It allows us to break down the barriers of territory and nationalism, reminding us that, despite our differences, we are indeed one people sharing one planet. The power of tourism in uniting people in 2022, international tourist arrivals reached one. For billion worldwide, according to the United Nations World Tourism Organization, UNWTO. This is not just a statistic. It's one. For billion opportunities for cultural exchange, for peace building, and for fostering mutual respect. Each traveler becomes an ambassador of goodwill, carrying with them not just their luggage but their stories traditions, and openness to learn. Consider the case of Rwanda, a nation once scarred by division and conflict. Through focused efforts on sustainable tourism, particularly guerrilla trekking experiences, Rwanda has not only boosted its economy but also promoted reconciliation and peace among its people. Tourists visiting Rwanda contribute to conservation efforts and community development, which in turn fosters a sense of pride and unity within the country. Building tourism resilience, however, the path is not without challenges. 
the global pandemic showed us how vulnerable the tourism sector can be. It underscored the need for resilience, to build systems that can withstand shocks and continue to promote peace and understanding even in the face of adversity. The UNWTO has been instrumental in this regard, spearheading initiatives that promote sustainable and responsible tourism. Their work ensures that tourism development is inclusive, benefiting local communities and preserving cultural heritage. The Global Tourism Resilience and Crisis Management Center, GTRCMC, has also been at the forefront, providing support to destinations in managing crises and building back stronger. In the Middle East, the Sustainable Tourism Global Center has been launched to drive sustainable practices across the industry. Their focus on environmental stewardship and social responsibility sets a benchmark for how tourism can contribute to peace by promoting equitable growth and preserving the very environments that attract visitors. Organizations like the World Travel and Tourism Council, WTTC, and the Pacific Asia Travel Association, PATA, are also playing pivotal roles. They bring together leaders from across the industry to collaborate on best practices, advocate for policies that support tourism resilience, and highlight the sector's contributions to global peace and prosperity. Asterisk key need for greater institutional support yet, we must acknowledge that more needs to be done. It is imperative that additional institutions recognize and harness the power of tourism as a force for peace. Governments, NGOs, and the private sector must invest in infrastructure, education, and policies that support sustainable tourism development. For example, community-based tourism initiatives can empower local populations, giving them a stake in the preservation of their culture and environment. This not only enhances the visitor experience but also promotes social cohesion and reduces the likelihood of conflict. A call to action today. I propose the establishment of an international fund dedicated to building tourism resilience in regions vulnerable to conflict and natural disasters. This fund would support projects that promote peace through tourism, foster cultural understanding, and build the capacity of local communities to manage and benefit from tourism sustainably. Let us make this initiative the cornerstone of our commitment to leveraging tourism as a pathway to peace. By pooling resources and expertise, we can create a safety net that not only protects destinations but also ensures that tourism remains a viable tool for peace building, even in the toughest times. Conclusion in closing, I return to the wisdom of Bob Marley, asterisk one love, one heart. Asterisk let us embrace this ethos, recognizing that every journey taken is a step towards a more peaceful world. Tourism has the unique ability to touch hearts and open minds. It teaches us that while we may come from different places, speak different languages, and hold different beliefs, we all share the same dreams of happiness, prosperity, and peace. The world needs to recognize the indispensable role of travel and tourism in fostering global peace. By building tourism resilience, we are not just protecting an industry. We are safeguarding a conduit for understanding, empathy, and unity. Let us commit today to work together, governments, international organizations, the private sector, and communities to strengthen tourism's capacity to withstand threats and continue its vital role in promoting world peace. Thank you for joining us today. Let's continue to celebrate and promote the incredible potential of tourism to bring the world closer together. One journey at a time. Until next time, keep exploring and connecting.